Hello, I'm Charles H. Galva Jr., Human Resource Professional and Workforce Empowerment Speaker. Today I want to share with you some of the negative effects of office gossip in the workplace. Gossip is something that you can kind of say comes along with the territory. Whenever there's people, uh, there's usually gossip. Someone sharing what they heard or sharing what they observed about another person to or with another person. But what we want to realize is that office gossip, it builds insecurity and diminishes trust within the work team. When we have someone having to watch their back or having to hear that their other team members are talking about them, uh, it can definitely make their self-worth diminish. So when we think about what we're gossiping about, a lot of times the topic has a less effect on the person than the actual gossiping does. Many times a person in their own time and in their own way can get through a situation that they're going through, but it's difficult to be their own PR agent and manage all of the things that coworkers are saying or, or friends and family members are saying about it. So that gossip can be very destructive to that person's character. It can be destructive to their confidence. And again, as I said, it diminishes trust. Trust is one of the most important aspects of any team. Being able to feel like your team member has your back or being able to feel like your team member respects you and values you as a person. And when they find out that a person is gossiping about them, that diminishes that trust and their ability to share willingly and openly with that person. Uh, vulnerability is another aspect of a quality team, being able to be vulnerable. But when we find out that a person is speaking illy of us or sharing information that they shouldn't share, a lot of times that makes us build a wall. And when we build that wall, that opportunity to be vulnerable is now taken away. So what you have now is a person who is deciding to go over into a corner or be on their own or during a meeting not share anything because they've decided that they're no longer wanting to be a part of this team who has gossiped about them. Uh, it's also very important for us to think about the professional gossip that occurs. Sometimes there's changes in policies, changes in procedures, uh, maybe uh, a component of the company may be shutting down or changing in a major or in a minor way. And when we are gossiping about that, sometimes the wrong information gets out. And when people hear information, a lot of times they accept it as truth and react to it. And so when we have something that is a change in the organization, a lot of times a negative attitude has been developed before the actual truth has been told about what the change is. So again, we want to realize that gossiping can be very destructive on a personal side and on a professional side. And we want to make sure that we're responsible for sharing the truth or we're responsible for not sharing information that doesn't belong to us to share. If you do that, then you will realize that that trust will build again and you will have employees who feel valued and feel secure in the fact that their team members are not talking about them, but are there to support them in their time of need. Good luck in your workplace situation and have an incredible day.